Hey, Numpkins, hope you're doing well. I'd like to shout out our Patreon supporter, the ever wonderful and fantastic Scully, for your continued support on Patreon. It really means the world to us, and you are fantastic for sticking with us. So thank you so much. And shout out to our producer, Alice, of course, as well. She is an amazing Numpkin, and her links are on screen right now. Guys, we have about 100 bucks to go to hit our goal for the month with half the month left. If you can help us out, consider pledging to our Patreon, especially if you enjoy the long plays, you want to keep them coming, please consider supporting. A lot of nom stuff on the way this spooky season. Link in the description. Anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy this game. It's pretty nom. All right, this is Atama. It is a tribute to Forbidden Siren and Junji Ito. So we have normal mode. Some parts will be challenging and may take several tries, as well as planning and strategy. Sounds awful. Difficulty people that want to challenge, do not want to challenge or want a casual experience. Most enemies in this mode are superior to continue rather than... Okay, so basically, if you get... If you... Um... If they catch you and you restart, they'll go away. So I'm going to do this one because I, I want to actually just enjoy the game. All right. Holy shit, this art. Keda, are you okay? Keda, you're scaring mum and I. Where are you? I'm fine, Tamako. We thought you'd come home after finals. Where have you been? I've got to choose. I just wanted to have some time alone. Oh no, she kept changing her mind on what she was saying, got it. We called the university. Your roommate said you were talking about going to Aunt Noriko's village. You didn't really go there, did you? I'll be fine, Tomoko. I'll be home tomorrow. It's just that... Finals didn't go well. It looks like we had a panic attack and failed our exams. I've been having those hallucinations again. Oh, she's not going to say that either. I just felt bad. The last letter Noriko sent me was very weird and urgent and has me worried. And she always writes us, and we never even see her. I thought I'd go there and surprise her. Seriously, there's not even regular trains that go there. Like, weird ones that have cargo and you have to basically hitch a ride. That's why Mum never goes. I like the way she's changing her mind. I know Mum thinks Noriko is crazy, but when I was little... When you were a baby. Noriko was nice to me and talked to me about... Things I can see. Oh, she's changing her mind. It just felt like she always talked about the family curse. And the fa every family has a curse, guys. Come on, just a, like a nice curse. It's stupid, but I wanted to talk to her just to see. You don't really believe in family curses, do you? I don't know anymore. Oh, God. I had to go to the train. It's about to depart. Look, oh, you can hear the train. Is everything okay? She keeps changing her mind. She just doesn't know what to say. Is there even cell phone service there? Will you even be able to get back? Keda, are you there? Are you on the train? Please answer. Keda, Mom called the police. We don't know where you are. Isn't your graduation ceremony next week? You didn't really go to the village, right? Did something happen at school? Mom told me to tell you to forget about Noriko and whatever. She told you about the visions. Mom told me to tell you, please forget the alien and come home. Keda, please! Please answer. Please answer! Keda! Well, we're dead. Lol, 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 lol. It is a weird cargo train. It won't budge. When reading a journal entry, you can press T to toggle the background image off or on. Oh, that's so much better. Oh my god. Kisaragi Station update. In response to the tsunami in Awata Prefecture, the Minister of Railways has decided that routes to outlying areas will be temporarily reduced to twice weekly in order to repurpose trains for relocation efforts and disaster relief. Thank you for your understanding and sacrifice in these troubled times. The notice has faded with time. It seems like the station has been neglected for the past eight years. So far, this is a very bleak looking place, isn't it? Jesus Christ, it's miserable. 
What is that sound? You can sprint by holding left shift. It's empty. Doesn't like it's been used for years. I'm not gonna lie, if I came here and this was like the town my aunt lived in, and this was like what it was like when I got here, I'd probably just leave to be honest with you. Damn it, it's happening again. What is? Oh, we're hallucinating. Oh, we can see through the eyes of the statue. So it's like sightjacking in Forbidden Siren, yeah. I pick up the strangely large coin with the number one on it. There's something unnerving about the way this is staring at me. Chrism just texted me that she loves me, guys. Did you know she loves me? Oh my god. It's unprecedented. I love that comment, Tempest. For those watching on YouTube, Tempest in chat just said, Oh boy, my favourite mechanic from my favourite game. F Forbidden Siren is so shit. I hate it so much. I hate it. I hate. I even hate Blood Curse. I hate all three of them. They're all awful. So I can't wait to see how it's implemented here. These- These are not- These are- This is people's homes! What the fuck? It's like a shanty town. Like when they said village, I didn't expect like some weird semi-industrial shit. I'm getting another vision. Well, that was very brief, but we got a checkpoint. Use your abilities to see through the eyes to help avoid them. Oh shit. Are these like floating heads? That's the feel, it's two of them. I can't see where they are though, I can't see anything around here. Condemned. Unfit for human occupancy. Use or occupation of this building is dangerous and unlawful. Trespassers will be prosecuted under the full extent of the law. Same shit? Yeah. Okay, I don't think either of them are next to me here. I don't think either of them are in this section, but they're nearby. They're in there. They're out that door. They think they know me. That I'll just lie here and let them take it all. It's mine. It's all I have left. They're gonna take my livelihood, then I'll take everything from the factory. I deserve to have it anywhere, and I won't let it go. Just you watch. The way they look at me, all puffed up, heads swollen on their own self-importance. Just you wait. I mean, the game is called Atama, which means head. So, uh, is that one there? Have I seen that van? Oh shit, it literally is a giant floating fucking head! Oh my god! That's horrible! Okay, is this a joke or what? There's just one left now. <laughs> Is that a meme? That was like it no it was like it kissed me or something. Did you hear that? It's like mm -hmm. <laughs> It slurped me down. Oh you see the sick you can see the outline of its own head there. Do you see that? What? Where? How? What? Yeah, blue raspberries are just start like. <laughs> it's like tee hee hee hee. <laughs> That's what it did. 
Where the fuck do I go? Oh, I've got another coin here. I don't know what the coins are for, but I've got number two, one and two, so I don't think we've missed any so far. Well, I'm so glad I came to this town. It's so nice. I think it's above me right now. There, it went back. You see it? Watch me get caught by every single one of these. Oh yeah, resub. T said the man. Thank you for the resub, boss. It's coming back this way now, I think. Yeah, we're to the left here. Thank you so much for the raid, Doxy. Oh my god. There it goes. There it's, it's like a bald man's head! The trains haven't come for a week really now, and my gut is empty. I'm starting to get really sick. Withdrawals are worse than they say. My head is spinning. I can't keep any food down. Hallucinations are starting. I swear, the other day I saw this lady's head just pop off and start floating away. I need help. You gotta help me. This is like Uzumaki! Except with people's fucking heads instead of spirals. Th this is like a town obsessed with heads and everyone's head has come off and is flying around. That is what is going on here and I kind of love it. This is Uzumaki but with heads. This is what this literally is. <laughs> There's one on the other side of the door. Look at it. Go away. Go away. Fuck off. Oh fuck, that one's right behind me. Am I back at the start? If there's fuel and stuff in here, I'm back. Oh, okay, I've got a shortcut, yeah. Is it going to happen to our protagonist? Maybe. I didn't look down here this time. Let's go to the left and look, look down here quickly. But yeah, this is Uzumaki, but with heads. Which is actually kind of cool. Groundskeeper note. I'm so sorry I lost my spare key. I must have dropped it somewhere around the other side of the main gate. I promise to replace the locks to make sure no one can get in as soon as I can. I had a vision. You Oh, Keda. It's to us. It's a letter to us. It looks exactly like all the other notes around town, so we could have easily missed it. I had a vision you came to our terrible town. I'm so sorry. The Ascended are coming, and I fear for you. I hope I get a chance to meet you at the train station, but I don't know how much time is left. I was never able to have children of my own, and sometimes I think I'd have a terrible mother, but I've always loved seeing you when I visited. The family heirloom is here in town. I've left it for you in the shrine. I know you secretly think I'm a crazy old woman, too used to the old ways. Your parents made that no secret, but you're always kind to me. If you have the heirloom, it might protect you. The train won't come, but maybe there's still a way out. I love you always, Aunt Noriko. Hey, Doxy, thank you for the five oh, yeah. gift subs. Lisa. That's incredibly generous of you, thank you. Oh, what did it say? Oh no, listen. There's one sleeping. This one's sleeping. We have a baby head. Gurgling. We have three in this area. Three to deal with. One is literally in a house, and I don't know which house, and I'm very worried about that. The doors are locked, but I can see the fuel gauge is extremely low. We need to refuel this to get the fuck out, clearly. Do you think I should try and go back and grab the fuel container from the shed? See if I can at least, like, take it somewhere to put more fuel in? This is actually pretty good so far. But yeah, I can't think of it. For those wondering, by the way, this game, I'm playing this game on easy, but there is like a hardcore permadeath mode and other stuff as well. So like, you can make this really difficult if you want. 
I'm just in it for the story. You know me, guys. I mean, I did get eaten by a giant head already, but you know. Generally speaking. That one's close to the bike. That one's sleeping, so we don't know where it is. Where is there a bike? I don't see a bike around here. At least not immediately. There it is. There's the bike. So it's in that it's in that shack there. The baby is. I kind of want to go and look at it. <laughs> oh, there's the other one. That one's looking that way. I don't think it turns around. The baby's in there. Oh, fuck me. If I was playing this on normal, I'd be so dead already, like a hundred times. I want to see the baby head. Oh, this is where we go to get around the baby. Crumpled lead at the blacksmith from Carpenter. Daichi, I understand that you're still in mourning. If I'd been my child, I don't know what I'd do. But there's a matter of business. The axe you made me take a notch at the first time I used it, and I need it lumber. Miyasama is demanding the roofs be fixed by the end of the month. I'm only halfway through building the scaffolding. I left the axe in the woodshed next to your workshop. We need to go and get that. We need to go and get the axe from where the baby is. I think. Unfortunately. Where's the other one? It's sleeping. Forgot about that. We need to get the axe from next to the baby, but I don't know how. There's nothing wrong with this place, just something after the way everyone acts here. I know beggars can't be choosers, but everyone here just freaks me the hell out. I'm supposed to be fixing the roofs of my ass hammer, but if I confront Daichi about my axe again, I think he really might kill me. I'm boarding up the hole in this shack for my own safety. I'll stick to my tent and my space and do the best I can for my ass hammer and just forget about everyone else. You never even had children, you goddamn outsider. What would you know? To hell with you and to hell with your axe. I've sharpened it now, and if you really want me want it back, just show your face to me and I'll show you how sharp it is. Wow, these people are really not nice at all. How are we going to get the axe from the baby? The sleeping one's got to be in one of these houses, right? I swear, that small jingle from the bell next door drives me insane. Every night, whenever the wind blows, it chimes incessantly and I can't sleep. No matter how I cover my ears, it feels like it's so deafeningly loud. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got the axe. You had to distract it with the bell, and then the baby would look at the bell. Oh god. Question is, what the fuck is the axe for? Cut down these. Cut down these low-res trees. Visually, this game is pretty bad. But, um... Overall, I like it so far. The head of the axe snapped off. Well... I can't take this anymore. Why did I ever come here? I tried to board a train and get out, but there's not a single person at the station, and yet I still feel like something was looking at me. I've never felt anything like it. Piercing. What the hell's going on? I feel like I can't even leave, like I'm in a prison with these monstrous people. I had to talk to Miyasama. He is a good and benevolent man. I know he can make things better for me, but the residential district is blocked off from us. I will have to use my ladders to sneak in. Okay. So we are in like the shanty town section of the town. Like, it's not just like the entire town is this. We have to use the ladder. Okay. So look around down here a bit more first. There's only those two still, so. The doctor doesn't believe me. No one does. But I swear if I see you conc 
I swear if I just concentrate, I can see what other people see. The blacksmith staring at his son's shrine. The old woman pleading with her grandma to drive them out of town. But also something flying, like way high up? I've never felt like this before. I've gone through withdrawal before, but this has never happened. Never. It's a couple more days. If I can get through a couple more days of this, maybe this will all stop. So I guess he just puts it down to drugs that he's like hallucinating flying fucking heads. This is a classic toilet there. Very ru a rustic toilet. That's what it's called. A rustic toilet. What is this water? Or there's a lot coming out of that. The sleepy guys in this house. As part of the Meiji Kingdom's efforts to spread Shinto, Kisaragi Shine is constructed and a humble town forms around it. Ongoing efforts to expand the railways lead to the creation of Kisaragi Station. The railways lead to various industries coming to Kisaragi and opening factories. Young entrepreneur Mayo moves to the town and makes plans to create a large manor right in the middle of town. Mayo Manor is finished and becomes a tourist attraction. Mayo purchases additional land, including the mine, which has been shut down. The earthquake and tsunami lead to substantial damage to the railways and results in resources being diverted to other places. The town's population plummets to less than a thousand as the factories close and those with the means get out. Many that remain in town live in destitution and the factory district becomes a shanty town. Mayo reopens the mines, bringing us back prosperity. Not quite sure that's what's happening here. Doesn't look very prosperous. All right, so we're gonna definitely be climbing ladders, excellent. What is going on? I can't look through the eyes when we're doing this, so... Okay, that was the weirdest ladder animation I've seen in a while. Hang on. There's one right there. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We're going to be on the roof of the sleeping one's house here as well. Yep. Ah! Oh, I got me so good. That was the sleeping one. I woke him up. <laughs> Okay, more available. How many enemies do you think here? We got one. We got one that looks like it's eaten somebody. We got another one. We got lots on patrol here. We have six in total, including a baby. And most of them are on patrol. Excellent. I must reach Mayor Samus Manor without being seen. I know I'm not supposed to be here after curfew. They're all still out and about. I'll have to plan my route carefully. For some reason, I feel safe in here for now. Perhaps it's because of the Afuda. I'm playing it on the difficulty where you can't. We're playing story mode. The Afuda makes me feel safe. Maybe it's a good place to hide and plan my next move. <laughs> Hi! Music here is very tense. I'm going to try and follow that guy around when he comes back again, I think. They're all in really ship. Music's good here. Quite tense. There's another one to the left there. Okay. 
We're semi safe here. So this is the main one patrolling. He's gonna go past me again in a minute. That one's opposite a lamp. These two are really close to each other. Shit. He should go past in a minute. If he didn't already. Are you fucking kidding me?! Well, at least he's dealt with now. That was- was that a fart sound? Was there a fart sound when he grabbed me? I'm gonna read that separately in a minute when I'm out of the way. Thank you for coming to see me as soon as you weren't feeling well, Barodo san It is with some humility that I must admit I cannot find what is causing your skin condition. Ever since our phone troubles, I cannot get a proper referral. That said, I've ruled out scleroderma, and whatever is causing your skin to tighten doesn't seem immediately distressing from a health concern. As we've said, you do look 10 years younger. As soon as a train arrives, I think a consultation in the city hospital might be warranted. Try not to worry, I think it will all be okay. What might not be is... The note stops here. It's all gonna be okay, apart from the fact that you're turning into a giant floating head. That is the flaw in our plan. Are you fucking kidding me? Make out with me. See the teeth? Do you see those fucking teeth? Thank you for coming to see me as well as you weren't feeling well to my son. I must humbly apologize and say that I've been going through my textbooks to no avail. Whatever is causing your facial discomfort isn't something I'm totally familiar with. I know that's not what you want to hear from a doctor, and I don't know it's not what I'd like to tell a patient, but I don't see any cause for serious health concerns. And if the blasted phones come back, or with the next train, you might want to take a trip to make an appointment with a licensed dermatologist with this. Okay. So everyone's getting the head issues, the skin and facial issues. It's probably nothing though. What's that noise? They cheat! I lost one. That's the one that's looking for me. Did it just fly through the roof? What a fucking arsehole. You know when your grandparents used to tell you your head'll come off if it's not screwed on right? I guess this is that. Thanks for coming to see me. First of all, you're an elderly woman, Takami-sama. I would think anyone, anything to reduce wrinkles would be a welcome change. Second, I don't like the implication that you felt my examination was, in your words, creepy. I'm happily married and you could be my grandmother. These are ugly accusations and I guess that it's unexpected considering who they're coming from. Your daughter rejected Mayo-sama and she rejected the sacred ore. Any rate, administer it. My topical oil from the swelling and I hope you don't get sick. Okay, so maybe the doctor is in on this. Maybe the doctor's made them all like this. But yeah, this is definitely... There's one round here somewhere. I'll read that in a minute. It's 
go in here and read. This week's Yokai highlight is the new Kakubi. For by day, these avengeable spirits looking like anyone else and are able to blend into society and manipulate those around them. However, at dusk, they're able to sate their thirst for blood by detaching their heads and searching for prey. It is said their blood-curdling scream can incapacitate with fear before they fly down and drain their prey's blood. Their origin is unknown, but speculation is they were humans who were afflicted with a curse. There is no known cure, and because they only have known to pass down the curse, the only treatment is to end their suffering. Okay. So they are all cursed. Presumably because of like some weird shit the, the guy who runs the place did. This is probably the manor here, I'm guessing. This big building. Okay, there's one in there. We've already seen that one. The baby is in there. There's one over there as well. Fuck. Can't go in the back door. I almost said something awful there. I'm really glad I didn't, otherwise it would have been clipped out of context. Another doctor follow-up. Methadone is not something we administer in a town like this. I don't think the apothecary even has it on its hand. So methadone is like a replacement for heroin that tends to like, is used to treat people who have uh, got heroin addiction and ease them off it with a safer drug. I don't think the apothecary even has it on to hand, but in the meantime, I recommend Librium to help with your opiate withdrawal. It could work. It does for liquor. I know your hallucinations are vivid, but that is common for withdrawal. I'm surprised health is any concern of yours whatsoever, given the life you've led. What a prick this doctor is. I've written your prescription, but if you're serious about turning your life and work around, get to Mayo Sama and get a job digging or working the ore. There is still hope for you, but not for long. Yeah, they're all obsessed with working for that Mayo Sama guy. Well, the doctor's telling people to. Worship the ore. Be one with the ore. Either ore. I kind of want to try and get in this building, but I think it would be suicide. Thanks for seeing me, Noriko. I know our examination was short and I've administered anagesic for the headaches and you get looking through the eyes of the Ascended. It is so wonderful and maybe this is psychosomatic, but I think I'm seeing it too. The blood vessels in my eyes are strained and it could cause a blood vessel to burst. A doctor needs his eyes, but it's so beautiful. But a doctor needs his eyes, but it's so beautiful. A doctor needs his eyes, but it's so beautiful. The note continues on like this, including on the backside. Wow, everyone's doing fine. All right, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have one go at this. I'm gonna go and try, I'm gonna go and try and sneak the bu sneak past the bubba because I want to look in this big house. <coughs> well, I say sneak. I didn't go to plan already. <coughs> the baby. What <coughs> the. The baby. Be nothing in there, isn't there? Up, 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 up. Go, 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 go. The staircase isn't real. Are you fucking shitting me? This was all a top. Let's go. <laughs> Shut up. The baby's after me again. All right, we're in a new area. All right, there's four of them here, but they all... I mean, he's right there. Are they all bald? They're all looking in the window, see? They're looking in the windows of the buildings. That's really weird. 
This must be the palace area. Yeah, they are. Look, they're all looking in the windows. I want to trust in the new order, the new way, but this is absurd. The year we live in, if Mayor Samba desired a remote switch to open the door, there are electronics that do this, but to engineer all of it with counterweights and gears, and then destroy the schematics? I did, but I can't let it all go. And not to mention the controls for the fountains inside are located outside? Why does it all even need to be tied to the Shishi Adoshis at all? Why have them be inside? What possible reason for such a convoluted setup? And what does he intend to hide in this tower that's so important to lock up? Okay. So there's got to be a machine somewhere that opens everything up, unfortunately, for us. These guys are all really preoccupied, at least. Which is nice. I think if I go too far that way, though, that guy will see me. Excellent. I understand everything. Hmm. We'll leave that for now. There's no entry point to that building there at all. Oh, it's a coin. We missed three! WE MISSED THREE! We're fucked, guys. We missed coin three. How the fuck are we going to be able to continue? There's something in this well. Listen. I wish I had the courage to ask my ass to have someone else do it. How pathetic am I that I can't even collect well water? Every time I go and fetch water, I hear strange noises from down below, almost like something breathing underwater. One time I saw a blinding blue light shining up from one of the vengeful spirits. I swear it is real, but the doctor insists it was in my head, and the way I wish I could believe it was just me. But I know there's something happening down there. Some kind of entity under the floor, waiting, crying. Do not enter the underground under penalty of death. Well, that sounds like a nice place. Let's go. He's got to go for me here, right? I was going to say. You're guarding the main entrance, dude. Oh! No! Okay, so that one is... I guess I took too many hits. There is death once you take too many hits. Or maybe that one is like a perma one that we have to figure out a way past. Maybe we're not meant to get past it now. I'm going to just test that out again. See if he can nod me again. Spooky dookie. So does this guy kill you whatever happens here? Yeah. Okay, so he can't be dealt with. We've got to find a way to distract him. Can I get him? Will he come to me if I stand here-ish? <coughs> I am so dead. He's so fast. Okay. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do to get past this guy. Because he just they all have like a fixed look. And I don't know what I do. I mean, obviously I've got to do something with these levers, right? But I don't know what. Could be a bit of a dead end here, guys, because I've no idea. Like, we haven't found any ev like any clues as to what these levers are for, right? And it just seems random. We did it! Fucking did it! So you had to pull each one to rotate it enough times. So each lever was each individual one. It wasn't a code. 
and you had to spin each lever to rotate the, the pipe. Your if is terrible. If we're being frank, it's soft. I mean, not the worst, but I can't imagine it being used in machine or anything. It doesn't seem safe. It makes me dizzy and nauseous to work with. But funnily enough, it seems to calm Toshio when he's crying in his crib after I come in after working with it. Well, the gong is made and Mayo paid handsomely for me to make it and destroy the cast I created. And the schematics he gave me so that it's done. I need to lay down. Okay. I was overthinking that puzzle. It was actually a lot simpler than it first appeared. It, it does make sense. It's completely fine. I'm guessing the... Will he s <laughs> You gonna come through the wall? Oh, they're all here, look. I could ring this with the mallet in the corner of the room. Hey, losers. Suck on that. <laughs> Holy shit. I think we can probably go in the main palace now. I think we scared the shit uh, I think that we paralyzed them all. Yeah, his mouth's open. This is this has been fun. I like this. What a beautiful man. Okay, there are more here. There's three. I do miss being able to tend to the courtyard, whatever I want, but I know Mayor Sama will let us want out once again, once the betrayer fesses up, and personally I have my suspicions. Regardless, it is nice to always have Mayor Sama by me when I'm in the courtyard now. That said, he does often make me leave for a few minutes, and I hear a strange noise, and then nothing until he comes back sometime later, before allowing me to return to my work. I hope to someday earn his trust to the point where he will not need to hide this from me, but I understand that I am not yet worthy of it. Okay. One through here, I bet you. I can't leave what happened funny what happened to Aunt Noriko and her heirloom. Great. Fuck me. <laughs> what is this music? Of course it's headless. I like the idea that the main character is just kind of done with it by now. Oh, fuck me. This guy's got me. Actually, maybe not. That's right. Fuck off. My lord, I regret to inform you that I found Jiro, the carpenter from the slums, sneaking around the outside of the manor last night, long past curfew. He insisted he had to talk to you, and I tried to handle the situation amicably and return him to his work. However, as I scolded him, he saw something he shouldn't have. I know you would not want him to be bothered with something so trivial when we're at such an important time, so I took him below. Sayuchi. Well, obviously there's some fucked up shit going on here. What were they eating? Can we see? That food would be fucked by now, right? Okay, we need to find a key. Excellent. Ah, uh, these are all one-hit kill, guys. Okay. Got him. We did it, guys. God, we're smart. I've never been so angry, disgusted, and ashamed. After everything Maya Sama has done for us, to think that one of us would betray his trust makes me want to throw up. And the fact that I don't even know who it is makes me distrust all the other servants. Years and years of service, and now I have to go ground in with a sort of mongrel who would steal the key to Maya Sama's tower. That being said, I cannot deny that I feel a great deal in pride that he's chosen to still allow me to leave the servants' quarters and still cook for his guests. He even entrusted me with the servants' quarters' key to come and go as I please. Hope he knows that I'm not like the others. Well, we know where that is now, but there we go. That one can open doors. Guys, that one, that one can open doors. And there's even more of the fucking things. 
I've got a checkpoint here, though. What the fuck is that? That's the door thing. Okay, I can get that, that's fine. Oh my god. This is that some good scares. That was a metal head. Oh, that one didn't count. Oh my god. Alright. If I'd known the bastard would lock us all in here just because I stole this key, I would have just run away. Of course, I wanted to steal from his tab before I break away and start anew. Who cares? Look at this manor. He has more wealth than everything else I've ever met combined. They all act like he's being locked here is normal. I can't explain the hold he has over everyone. Is it really just their greed? At this point, I genuinely think I might die here. He's giving us less and less food, and I can tell there's something strange in it. And he's even said that we won't need food anytime, any more soon. Yet everyone else just keeps smiling. This is really fucked. But it's actually really good. Like, I like the story a lot. How fucked was that? How fucked was that? Why is there a metal head in there? I don't understand and I'm terrified. Oh, we got coin. We missed the coin number three. I'm very sad about that. It was probably like the true ending locked behind a coin. Alright, the metal one's locked away. We got a key to the tower itself. I think we can probably just head back, right? Towards the tower now. I say as I've now probably made this way harder for myself than I needed to. Why is he metal? Goodbye! Oh. <laughs> stealth! 1000% stealth! 1 million percent stealth! I got a checkpoint! I did it! <laughs> it's hard to believe that after all these years of sacrifice, completely dedicating myself to the works, that the end is finally nearly here. Truth be told, when I started in spite of my own outward confidence, inwardly I had my doubts. But every time I saw the admiration in the eyes of the townspeople, I was reassured that I would succeed. My only regret is knowing that despite everyone's hard work, I know not everyone will be able to join me, but I will never forget that they will make all of this possible. Soon I will arise, and with me, so too shall the worthy. What the fuck does that mean? The book's a mix of stories about yokai, business, how-to guides, and old medical journals. A good, a good healthy mix. Just bars of gold laying around while people live in the shanty town. What a lovely guy this has. Is there, is there no key here or anything? Oh. It's the head to the statue. Oh, I can't run anymore. Excellent. Well, that one doesn't count anyway. This is bullshit. Imagine actually trying to get out of this or not on story mode.
all bumpkins. I've decided each and every one of those three were bumpkins. Maybe even super bumpkins, okay? That's how dedicated I am. Alright, I'm guessing this is the last area of the game. It looks like it takes a key. <laughs> but it takes it. Alright. I'm not getting any sight jack at all around here. Which is weird. Even before the transformation takes hold, it would seem subjects tend to develop a fascination to certain noises, in particular chimes and any form of metallic clangs. They have a sense of childlike wonder and obsession over these sounds. For this reason, I had a gong created from the sacred metal to test the reaction to the metal's vibrations. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Menegon, for the sub. It was a beautiful sight to behold, as sounds of the gong brought about jubilant exultation. Unfortunately, this state of it, absolute bliss left them incapacitated, so I had to lock it away. Okay, so that gong was useful. That's what we already used. Oh, shit, look. They're doing experiments on them. Oh, hi, Pretzel. I believed in you. When everyone else treated me like an outsider, you made it clear that I had a purpose here. You made me have pride in my meager living. I thought your wealth was a reward for your benevolence, but now I see you for what you really are. A monster, a lunatic, and a charlatan. That again, perhaps you are so delusional you actually believe your own bullshit. You sort us all out for your own glorious future, but I won't be part of it. At least this one final act I can take into my own hands. Okay, we got a key here. We got the sewer key. Excellent, my favorite level. I have recovered from family heirloom and found a way to escape from this prison. Unfortunately, it would seem the heirloom is powerless in this place. Oh, it's to us. This is to us. The only way for me to is through the sewers. I will lock the door behind me so I'm not pursued, but this key should allow you to follow. The worst is yet to come, but I know you will make it through this, for I've seen a wonderful future for you. Stay strong, Noriko. Okay, so our aunt's gone in the sewer, and that's the way we need to go to get out of here. To find the heirloom to undo things. Why does it have to be baby noises? The rock feels unnatural to the touch. It vibrates like something inside it is moving. It doesn't bother me that when they scream and cry and wail. I prefer that they wouldn't, but I understand it's a painful process. The one thing that truly breaks me is when they beg me to stop. The fact that despite all their posturings, when their time comes, they prove they are not really devoted. What depresses me isn't the fact that they don't belie believe in me. It is that they are giving up such a wonderful future for nothing. Sometimes I sit here and just think about these souls that are too weak to ascend and mourn. But with a little help from my record player and my little companion, I'm able to cheer up and remember that so many others will join me. So he thinks he's like... Turning them into gods or something, it looks like? But he's not, obviously. The procedure appears to affect every subject in subtlety or sometimes subtle or sometimes drastically different ways. Some seem to develop animal-like qualities, but I've not reached any definitive conclusions on why that is. From the extensive testing I've done using different quantities, it would seem the best results come from slow and continuous ingestion over a long period of time. I wish they were faster away, but the results from the tests on my servants show they will not be usable. The worst of which, I've moved to the mines below. Oh, great! There's worse things than the things we've already come across. These were the successful test subjects patrolling the grounds here. There is a baby's head in a cage. There's a maggot in its head. This is so fucked, but I really like it. So there's worse things below here than what we've come across so far. Excellent. Can't wait. It's going to be beautiful. Probably should keep running. <laughs> wow. We didn't take any fall damage there. That crunching was the bones underfoot, I think. I've got nothing to sight jack still. Now I do. There's two of them. One of them's coming this way. 
kid, it's stay out the light, Noriko. Okay. The fuck is that noise? His head is a light. He had a fucking candle growing out of his face. That's cheating. That's top tier cheating. Sorry I play these games on story mode, by the way, guys, but, like, I I'm more interested in the story than I am the, uh, you know, dying hundreds of times. I think this has been a much more enjoyable experience not having to see me restart 70, 70 fucking times. Alright, there's the other one. I think this is probably where we landed coming up again, right? Or maybe not? I don't really know where I'm going here, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Oh, we found a coin again. The working conditions of this mine are unattainable. There's barely any lighting, frequent cave-ins, and hell, there's even a giant hole leading down to a deeper level. After someone died falling down it, they put up one tiny wooden barrier. Not to mention I can tell the noxious fumes from whatever the hell it is we're mining and getting to me. I regularly see things I know are impossible. 16 hour days where I push on through sheer delirium. I genuinely appreciate Mayo giving us this opportunity after the factory is closed, but I'm not sure this is better than rotting away in destitution in the shanty. Fuck. God, they're having a hard time of it, huh? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, he turned around. They're like anglerfish. They're fucking awful. Right, so we got to find probably the bit where you mentioned that note mentioned like something falling, like a like a hole, right, to go deeper. Question is, what the fuck is that? Because this all looks the same. Oh my god, the way it moves is so fucked. This might take us around to where we started, but I'm not sure. Oh no, this could be the way. Yeah, this is the way. <laughs> I think we made it. The way they move is like really, really fucked. Yeah, we made it, okay. There was one down here, though. Oh, this is the alum, I think. Keda. I know you would find your way here and fulfill our family destiny. I know it's too late for me, and unfortunately the alien is powerless here. That must have been our aunt. All you have to do now is get out of this horrible town. Once you're out of its influence, the alien will protect you. I know you can do this. Farewell, my niece. That didn't sound good. Got the trophy, a last message. I'd grab a fucking bar of gold while I was down here, you know, may as well make some money out of it, right? Yeah, her head's gone, yeah. Oh, fuck me. She's like, hurry up. Just hurry the fuck up.
Okay. There's an elevator here. We're not done yet. We're at the shrine grounds from above. I think this might be our our buddy here. Hi, how's it going? Kind of want a picture of you for like. Uh... There's us. You can see us walking around like down below. Let's go. Uh, maybe here? Here, yeah, this is it. Kisaragi News, final issue. On behalf of our modest staff, consisting of myself and my son, Ryotaro, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our readers. I had a crisis of conscience decades ago and moved to this hamlet with my wife many years back. I have made no secret of my concern about Mayo's so-called entrepreneurship, and though many of my compatriots find his ambition inspiring, well, I truly hope for your sakes that it will prove me wrong. Mayo's request that I archival copies of this paper be destroyed is disheartening. Is the record of what our town once was really truly to be cast away? Will we be nothing before him? Are we to be nothing after? Is our history just prologue to our strange worship of him? Was my family's work for naught? As I said, I do hope I'm wrong. But just as strongly, I hope this will all come to our senses. He's watching me, by the way. You see that? Dr. Watanabe, I understand the minds are isolated and down there your ears can play tricks on you, but we are not children. We do not leave our posts in the middle of the workday because we're scared of the dark, and we certainly do not leave Meiyasama's property because regardless of what you think you heard, you will be docked your wages for the missed work, and I suggest that you retrieve on your own time the pick and shovel, as well as the extracted ore, or we'll have to take further measures. Good day. I don't like it. A toilet, thank fuck. Oh, yeah. Only a quick one, that's all I needed. <laughs> Bullshit, you saw me! You asshole. Could pick this now up, we can do better, huh? Kill me? Chris Aragi Crazy Crab Contest! It's time for the 5th Annual Crabbler Contest in which you submit your weirdest shellfish, find our judges for a chance to spend one day in our Imperial Gardens and Manor. Last year's second runner-up was Mizuki T. Her crab was stark white. Quite lovely, the runner-up was Rumi N. Her crab had 14 legs. It must have been a fast walker, but she said her and her family only found it delicious. And the winner was Hitomi K. Her crab was basically just a body with 23 crab legs. Our judges had never seen anything like it. Even after she won, it was revealed the crab had basically no meat. It was like an oblong ball of crab claws. Wonder of wonders, what will this year bring? Oh, that threw him off. Maybe I should have been picking notes up this whole fucking time. Like, you know, when I'm being chased, I mean. Book it, book it, book it. Get to the shrine. I was gonna say, let's try and close. Try and close for the day. There's a padlock on the door. The shrine is closed. Oh my god! With Mersama, we no longer have need for this idolatry. Given the unfortunate death of former shrine groundskeeper Orochi, and given the historical status widow is in, I will hold on to the key. If there's any legitimate reason that entry to the shrine or the forest beyond it is needed, reach out to me. My home is at the back corner of the village, but before the graveyard. Fucking wonderful. I just literally just called it. So we need to find Sayuchi's house and get the key. <laughs> Shut up. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, there's so many! Let's read this note. After I get nommed. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at this, but it's fun. 
Last on the eve of my execution, I have once again asked clemency for my son Roto. So this is the newspaper guy. They executed the newspaper guy. I recount all my transgressions against Mayor Samar and beseech the town to exile my son and put him on the transport train out of town. Anything he wrote was at my puppet's hest. Please do not punish him for the sins of his father, I beg of you. You destroyed the paper, I left my life in the big city to help a small town, and all of that is gone. I accept that as just punishment from Mayor Samar, whose forgiveness I can only dream of. Spare Roto, please. He only helped with typesetting and the occasional errand. This is my only request. This house, maybe? It's an open house, so... Yeah, here we go. Join the rebellion. If you're reading this, some of you have a friend or loved one go missing recently. Some of them in the night without a trace. Others were going to into Mayo's estate and never came back out. We need to band together to rescue them. If you see this and want to join, let the thumbnail on your left hand grow long. That way, in a few weeks, we'll be able to identify each other without drawing attention. Do thumbnails grow that fast? You must be careful. Mayo's eyes and ears are all around us. Do not pass this message on unless you're absolutely sure of who we are giving it to. And we must keep our numbers small as to not become obvious. When you are done, make a mark at the bottom of this page. If you receive this message and it has a nine or more marks, do not pass it on. Burn it. We will not let this tyrant take any more innocent lives. The note has three marks. So there was a rebellion. It has me to inform you that I've received evidence there are traitors among us. I've intercepted anonymous and incriminating correspondence from some mongrels. Although they did not reveal their identities and have tried to be cautious, the idiots have said that it will grow their left thumbnail to identify one another. I suggest we bide our time and keep an eye out and slowly deal with the problem one by one. We have the key. That's the main thing here. Okay, he saw me from so far away. It's almost if he has fucking height edge over me or some shit like that. It's weird. Oh, there's a note here as well. I might as well grab this too. Hidden letter to Rotaro. I can only leave it into the fate of God or something that you find this Rotaro. It was only later in my life I decided the man needed to stand for something, and I set off from Kyoto to find a new home, a new start. I gave up money for principle, and I was totally wrong. I am to die, and I'm only hopeful somehow that you escaped, but I can't even know. The only thing I do not regret in life is you, but I do regret not following the masses. There is no point in fighting or raising your voice against the crowd you know is wrong. It only led to my untimely end. Go, 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 go. To the shrine mobile! They're coming for my bum. They're coming for my bum. Yeah, fuck off. Okay, we can't. Oh, no, we can see him. Hi! What are we doing here? There's a strange force keeping me from opening the door. Oh, fuck. The alien is going brightly. Now that I'm far enough away from town, maybe I can channel its powers to help me escape. To unleash the power of the alien on an enemy by pressing space while gazing through their eyes. Let's try. Oh, I can blind them. Oh, that's cool. See, I blinded it. But Big Boy is, is too powerful and he's watching out from above. I am so fucked here. Maybe not. Oh my god! She was right behind me! <laughs> I'm doing very badly at this. What an asshole. 
I haven't seen a single person in the past two days. There's no food, there's just dirty standing water and it tastes awful. I can't understand it. My compass is working as far as I can tell, but you head eat due east, you land back here. You head northwest, back here. Follow the river, it's like you're getting discombobulated and end up in the bamboo forest. It can't be happening. You just better walk out, but here we are. Yeah, I could not play this on permadeath. That would suck. His mouth's opening and closing now. Can't remember what button to press to get rid of them. What was it? T? I can't remember. T for twat. Spacebar, was it? Okay. Is he getting closer? I think I just fucked the one that I already fucked before. This place is huge. I, mean, I don't care about this guy. Hang on, I wonder if there's a coins being guarded by one. You know what I mean? Do you think the coins might be here? Oh, that's a shame. I thought this was like a premium coin area. Oh, he is getting closer. Shit. I guess I'm meant to be finding a way out of here, stat. Didn't realize he was getting closer, but you are 100% right he is. Shit. I'm gonna go this way. Suddenly Majora's Mask is like Majora's Mask, isn't it? Dawn of the eighth day. Seven seconds remain. Oh, the whole screen shaking now. Oh my god! There's so many of the fucking things here. This looks promising! It's the railway track! Go book it! Oh, I'm using the thing on him. Please work? I can't say, can't say I woke up sometime later. It was just like I was just there, outside, in a version of Kisaragi with thin, hungry-looking people shambling about. In the tunnel one minute, outside the next. I wandered along the train track, shoulder slump. My phone had no battery and I had nothing to eat or drink for what felt like a whole day. I looked back in the direction of Kisaragi and had a vision. The town was once more filled with floating heads all staring at the giant one above. But this time it was a woman. Noriko? Was it her? It didn't seem quite right, but the vision was momentary. I was near collapse when I encountered that neighbouring town. An old woman saw me in my haggard state and invited me in for breakfast and a nap on a spare futon. Thankfully, the ATM and phones in town worked, though no luck charging my dead phone. I got home. My family was worried, but they were relieved to see me. My exam had actually gone alright. The truth is I don't know exactly what I was so afraid of. Just had this overwhelming feeling of panic. My heart was racing. I was sure it was the curse. I felt I had to go to Kisaragi, finally. And now I'd gone, and I'd survived. Wasn't that enough? I never had a clear picture of what happened there. I started therapy, I got a prescription. The vision stopped, for a while. I kept the heirloom. In Kisaragi, holding it had felt odd. Some part of it felt comforting, but another part of it felt wrong, like a warbling in my head when I held it. It got worse as time went by, so I put it in a box and forgot about it. I learned to cope with the sense of dread. The visions would happen infrequently over the years, but I still never got a clear picture of the giant face in the sky. It looked something like Aunt Noriko, but colder. Less like the kind art I knew and more menacing. I dreaded seeing her. And yet the visions returned despite changes in my life. Even as the years went by, even when my sister got killed in an accident, even when I got married, and even when my daughter was born. I love my baby more than anything, little Tomoko. I felt that woman's face, her eyes seemed to focus more intently when I held her. 
One day the panic came back, impossible to ignore, so I said silent goodbyes and found the cargo train back to Kisaragi. I can't say it was to finish what I started, it was too late for that. It felt like Noriko needed me to find something else she'd left behind. I guess that's for a sequel. That wasn't bad at all. Not a bad little, uh, little game. Yeah. Like, I feel the only thing that was like, uh... 32 deaths. I feel like the only thing that was like... I nearly read all the journal notes, that's good. I feel like the only, um... Uh, there's a code to unlock data as well if you fail, that's good. Um... There's other endings too. There's multiple endings. Like, I thought this was pretty good. Like, the only thing holding it back really was its lack of a budget. Like, it didn't really have one, you know what I mean? It's a very low budget game, right? But I feel like if this was did have a bigger budget, it could be a really, really, really good, good, excellent game. It was still good, but it, it felt like I was walking around, like, uh, basically, like, default the Unity assets a bit, you know what I mean? Like, the, the environments were not very interesting or, or particularly memorable. The heads were definitely creepy, and I definitely got me quite a few times. But it's not perfect, but it's it's definitely better than average. And, uh, uh, you know, a decent little indie horror game. A decent little indie horror title.